Hi everybody, Mike Wendland here, and once again, a bunch of companies have sent us some products to review that they think will be of value to RVers. Well, you know what that means. It means we're going to test them out and let you know whether they're a hit or a miss. Okay, we've got three things we're going to look at in this report. The first, uh, from a company that's known as Nature Hike, and what they've sent us is an ultralight sleeping pad. Now, this thing sells uh, for about $55 on Amazon. It's uh, 73 inches long, 21 inches wide. You're supposed to be very comfortable on it. It's only an inch and a quarter thick. You can put it inside a sleeping bag or put it outside. We're going to try it out. We'll get Jennifer to help me with that. And then we got this. This is the car dash cam and it comes from a company named Colby. And what's unique about this is it fits supposedly over your rear view mirror and it takes uh, video and sound going forward. In other words, what you see out your dashboard and outside your windshield. And also, it'll shoot video backwards. In other words, it'll take pictures of you as you're driving. Hit or miss, we'll find out. And then, like this. This is an 80-watt semi-flexible solar panel. And uh, this is supposed to be used. It'll help charge 12-volt batteries on RVs or boats or anything else. We're going to see what we think of that. All right, let's go out to the RV and see if these are a hit or a miss. Well, I got bad news. It doesn't work. You see this thing, it's kind of like flashing. You'll see every now and then. There you go. See that? I have charged this thing overnight and um, it doesn't work. You can't turn it on. Uh, every now and then that screen will flash like that, but um, that's it. I've hit the reset button. You would think, would you not, that when you send something to a media guy to review, that the product would, would work. This, it doesn't work. But not only that, even if it did work, it wouldn't work in my RV. Let me show you why. Okay, here it is mounted on my rear view mirror with uh, that, those little clips. And you see, it's still flashing that screen, meaning, you know, it won't turn on. No matter what I try to do, it will not turn on. But even if it did work, you see this? This big hunk of plastic that is uh, mounted right in the middle of the windshield. This is the hunk of plastic that the uh, Sprinter uh, RV, the, that the rear view mirror is mounted to. Well, if you put this uh, dash cam over the rear view mirror, the camera, right there is partially obscured by that big hunk of plastic. So while the uh, backward facing camera would work, the front camera would not work. So on the sprinters, it's not a working solution at all. But wait, there's still more problems. This, this is the woefully inadequate instruction manual. There's supposed to be a third camera with this Kobe dash cam. And, and that is the camera that is supposed to work, I guess, as a rear mounted camera. Well, there is the rear mounted camera, near as I can figure out. There's nothing in the uh, manual that explains how this thing works, how you hook it up, how it even transmits or gets a signal back to the, uh, to the unit that's mounted on the, uh, on the rear view mirror. So I have no idea what that's for. Look, for all of these reasons, and not the least is which, they sent me a unit that's broken. This is a miss. Next up is the ultralight sleeping bag. Mike knows, remember the story of the princess and the pea? I tend to be the princess. I like perfect sleeping conditions. It comes in a nice little bag. Let's see how easy it is to inflate. Here it is. Oh. A repair kit, well that's always good to have, except it kind of indicates that it might rip. It doesn't feel real strong, in fact it feels rather thin. Let's see what this looks like. All right, Ooh, not that wide. Oh, and it looks like we've got to blow it up. How am I going to blow that up? Mike? What? I've got a job for you. You've got to blow this up. What do you mean I gotta blow that up? Well, somebody's gotta blow it up. Well, you're doing the review. 
Well, maybe I need some help. Okay. It doesn't do uh, it doesn't do this automatically like some mattresses do, so it means I gotta do Are you telling me I'm full of hot air? I think I just did, I just did the, that's just the pillow. Where's this in? I think that's it for the whole thing. No. Yeah, Can't I think be. so, because it's not supposed to be any more than about an inch, inch and a half thick, isn't it? Well, actually, It feels yeah. good, doesn't it? All right. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. All right, you get to test it. All right. I'm going to take it in and try it out. Let's see how comfortable this is. You know, I think it is going to be comfortable. It feels soft right now. Slippery. I'll say that for it. You've got a little built-in pillow. So what's the verdict? I think I like it. I don't know how easy it's going to be to fold it back up when we have to move on in the morning, but I think I'll use my regular foam pad and then I'll add this. Can't go wrong with two. Well, let's try folding it up because you really don't know yet. That's true. The first thing I have to do is get the air out of here. This really is a bit slippery and it seems very, very thin. But that doesn't mean anything as to how strong it is. Well, that's probably why they gave you that repair kit right away. Huh? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, that works well. I accidentally stuck my finger in there and that worked great. Now to get all of your air out of there. Okay. Well, it's not that hard. This is a big opening. Leave that. Get the air out of it. Okay, it's, you know, here's the bag. Do you want to do this every morning? Uh, not really. So, and hit or miss? I'd say it's a miss, even though I really want it to be a hit. I want this. And if you had dogs and cats, I don't know how that would work. And a husband wait, ready to hit the road, and you can't say, oh, I gotta fold up the mattress. No, I was thinking dogs and cats with their toenails. Yeah. All right, yeah. so hit or miss. Well, I'm still trying to roll it I know, up. I, I know, mean, I know. You gotta figure this out. Look, at it's a miss in my book, because we don't have time for that. Yeah, you are so anxious to get going in the morning and that's putting it nicely. Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah. I'm getting there. Nobody's going to watch this video. It's too long, huh? Yeah. This is the most boring video I've ever done. <laughs> hey, I want this to work. I need this. You know, probably they want to sell these things. They should probably tell you how to roll it up. Okay. There we go. I did it. I did it. But I'm taking it. I'm going to try sleeping on this. Well, so it's not a miss? Well, I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try sleeping on it. I'm going to take it on our next trip. So the verdict... I like soft. Remember? Princess and the P. So the verdict is undetermined yet. Undetermined yet. If he's got the patience to uh, blow it up and then take the air out of it and put it back in the bag, go for it. Okay, next up the Lensun 80 watt semi-flexible solar panel. Here it is out of the box. And indeed, it is semi-flexible. Um, it's, it's quite sturdy. It's meant that you can, uh, you can bend it a little bit, like on a roof, to capture the maximum amount of the sun. Uh, it seems to be pretty sturdy. They say you can even walk on it with soft-soled uh, shoes. Uh, there's some sturdy wires that are connected to it uh, with their connectors already to go into the charge controller. Now, you do need a charge controller for this. Uh, it is not an expensive item, but if you're going to run maybe two of them or more of these, uh, you want to have a charge controller so it uh, prevents uh, uh, reverse charging when you connect it to a battery. I did notice one thing about this. They said to mount it with suction cups. Well, 
there were no suction cups in the box and the instructions certainly made it sound like there were. Uh, they say that if you're going to put it on a roof of an RV or on the deck of a boat or on the roof of a car to uh, also run some silicone around the edges uh, if you're going to leave it in a permanent situation. So uh, all that aside, I think this is a pretty, pretty quality piece of equipment. I will give this a hit. Uh, it's great for charging a 12 volt battery. Um, you'd want to have more than one if you expect to do a lot of charging, but um, this is pretty good. It's a definite hit. So that's our hit and miss reviews of these three items. And as long as these companies keep sending us stuff to test, we'll keep reviewing them. I'm surprised anybody would send you anything. You're tough. I still haven't ruled out that pad. Hey, I call them as I see them. So we have maybe one and a half hits. You, you kind of like <laughs> that pad. There we go. One and a half. Yeah, she kind of likes that pad. I want it to work. You know, that pad is really made to go inside a sleeping bag, and it's for backpackers. But they sent it to me to review for RVers, and so maybe that's why I was a little harsh for on it. For a backpacker, it. it would be awesome. All right, so let's revise all that. We've got one and a half hits. Okay. All right. All right. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thank you for watching our RV Lifestyle channel. Please do us a favor, click that little red subscribe button. And also, we love to get your comments, and you can leave a comment right below. Thanks for watching.